hello welcome back uh, this is the continuation of uh, the other short video that I did about building a very simple relationship between the two entities customer and address uh, and I showed you how a very simple relationship can be made and it is shown here as a one-to-many relationship now one must be wondering you know reading the theoretical concepts of building relationship that there could be a one-to-one -one and a one-to-many and a many-to-many -many relationship I started off with a one-to-many relationship for the very practical reason that most of the time uh, we build one-to-many relationships okay but there are cases uh, and scenarios where you have to build a one-to-one -one relationship uh, to bring in the simplicity to your design and we'll come to many 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 to many relationship um, later on because those are only at the logical level so here we have a new entity called loan and for the very simple um, reason I just kept it simple loan ID loan type and loan amount just to understand you know what uh, we are really trying to do here we have a loan which can be assigned a unique ID and a type of the loan and the total amount that we uh, as a lender company offering to a customer now there could be quite a few other attributes that we can add uh, to this entity and those attributes could be for example I can say loan uh, start date loan end date uh, loan uh, pre-approved amount which is not the final amount the final amount is uh, this one loan pre-approved amount and I would say loan approved by and loan the request date um, okay that should be enough for now okay in real the list of attributes that you assign to a loan could be a long list um, I'm talking about you may have another hundred attributes now most of the time there is a list of attributes that you are not referring on a day-to-day -day basis and you want to keep the size of this entity to a smaller footstep so what we usually do is that we basically slice this entity and I'm going to draw a horizontal line here from the drawing board no, that's a connector okay, I should go to tools um, maybe in the view toolbars and drawing toolbar is already on so it should be here somewhere Yeah, I think here, here is the drawing toolbar. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is to use one of these to show you that how I want to slice this entity. So let's say this is what I want to do. I want to take this part of the entity and move this into um, a different entity. okay anyway I think you got the idea so I'm gonna remove this one so let me um, create another entity here and we will call it loan details and I'm gonna move select all of these by holding down the control key and keep holding down the control key and move them and kind of uh, drag them with your mouse to the new entity this will actually copy the whole list of attributes into the new one if I undo that one uh, and without holding the control key I push the shift key down select all of these 
without holding any key on the keyboard click and drag them to the new entity so they will be moved so now we have uh, two entities now uh, one is called loan and the other one is called loan entity but we know that you know we are still talking about the same loan so what we are going to do is to create a relationship between this entity and this entity and you see the primary key of the loan id is automatically moved into the loan details entity as a foreign key and you see this time the relationship is built as a one to one instead of one to many that we did last time okay so here we are talking about the same entity but we have sliced it into two different entities to create a shorter footstep for this entity as this is the entity that we most of the time will be referring to in our queries so it becomes easier on our queries so this is one practical reason where we would use a one-to-one -one relationship and in the coming session i will explain how to use uh, many to many uh, in a logical and why we cannot maintain a many to many in a physical layer thank you